today we're painting the God of the Underworld from Ankh Gods of Egypt. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm back with another Ankh Gods of Egypt God, and this is Osiris, the God of the Underworld, who's who's primed in Wraithbone because we're going to be using some contrast paints. That's right, contrast paints on a large miniature. Uh, this is going to be very interesting, won't it? Starting off with some Leviathan Blue. We're going to be doing all his cape. Uh, now in the artwork, it was hard to tell what color his cape was. So I looked up online and seen what other people had done and all that. And blue seemed to be a prominent usage for this uh, part of the miniature. So I decided to do that. Once that's dry, I'm going to take a little bit of Citadel dry paint, Imric blue, and go over the back part of the cape. As you can see now, it really looks like the, the blue is like popping. It almost looks celestial in a way. Uh, and it also stained my dry brush, even though I washed it right away. Anyways, don't know what happened there. A little bit of Creed camo now. Well, a lot of Creed camo. A lot of paint goes on this guy, actually, because he's a very big miniature. So I cut through the video. I don't want you guys sitting here for an hour and a half watching me paint a whole bunch of nooks and crannies. Uh, this is for his skin. He had green skin in the artwork, and I wanted to see how that came out. Now we're going to be doing the skin on the followers with some Fire Slayer flesh. This has a little bit more of a red, darkish hue to it. So this is perfect for this uh, model. And again, you're going to have to get inside the cape. You have to go around the little areas just to get to all these follower skins. I mean, I missed some along the way and I had to patch it up after and try and clean it up. Um, also, I just want to know if anyone knows uh, when you use a uh, Wraithbone or Gracier from Citadel, what do you use as a touch-up paint? Because I have no Citadel paints. So what would you use, an army painter, or should I buy some Citadel paints just to have a touch-up paint? Comment down below. All right, next is Skeleton Horde. We're gonna be doing this for all his wrappings. Uh, as you can tell, the wrappings do go down into the followers. Uh, do, so I do blend uh, one of the colors into it later on, uh, just so that there's a little bit of a contrast between uh, the followers and his uh, wrappings. I didn't want it to be all the same. And now we are doing their robes right now with Agaras Dunes. And this is more of a yellowish sandy color, I find. It's less brown than the Skeleton Horde. So this this is perfect for their robes and I find with the right bone and the contrast paints does an amazing job on this miniature it's just you know usually you need a lot of details for it to pop and this it does do this all right next we're doing some shyish purple on parts of the feathers I kind of messed up these feathers so see as you can see I touched a bit of the helmet there or his helm with it and I would have loved to touch that up but I just don't know what color to use on that I might have to look this up all right, some Talisar Blue to finish off those feathers. Uh, as you can see, that purple might have been not the right purple for it, but it's the lightest of the purples in the contrast paints. So maybe I should have watered it down or put a little bit of contrast medium in there just to make it that the, the Wraith Bone comes out a bit more. That still works out. looks pretty good, right? Uh, Dark Angel's Green now for these snakes that he has around his necks. His necks. Wow, his one neck. I don't know how many people have many necks, but anyways. Uh, again, the contrast paint works really well on this wraith bone on the scales of these snakes. It's a little hard to differentiate with the skin in the snakes, but it does show up. All right, now there's no contrast paint that does a white gold finish. So we're using some fairy dust from Army Painter. This is an effects paint. It is not a metallics paint. However, it is used to turn any paint shiny or metallic looking. So normally you mix this in with a color, but I wanted to do the artwork uh, justice by painting it exactly the same colors. You can see I touched uh, some of the blue as well there too, just so I can fix that as much as I could with this. Uh, right, some Retributor Armor now. Uh, this is a Citadel base paint. We're going to be doing this on the rest of the miniature that hasn't been painted already. So it has right bone sticking out. It's getting some glob of golden paint. Uh, and... This, I, I, again, I've mentioned it many, 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 many times in the other Ankh painting videos, how I love this Retributor armor. It is nice and smooth. It goes on clean. It doesn't streak, I find. Uh, I don't know. They did something really well with their metallic paints. Spirit Stone Red. Okay, I don't know what I was going for here. I was trying to make this shiny. I didn't want to use a metallic color from the Iron Painter. I wanted to try and stick to Citadel paint, so I figured... Well, these soul stone and redstone or gemstone colors, they're technical paints from Citadel that they're supposed to make stuff shiny, but it didn't. So 
Should I have put a gloss varnish on? Did I put too much? Or should I have put a blue first and a red first and then put this on? Should I put it on a second or third layer? I don't know. There you go, folks. Osiris, the god of the underworld, is painted and ready for the table. Coming up next are his warriors. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you all in the next one.